What's going on, Bro Cephas? Just wanted to show off our AC fun board. It's like having a new train set, man. Old Jay Booty, he got moved to another property, so they moved over a guy named Hunter, and he built this for us. It's pretty awesome, man. He used to work with an HVAC company. But uh, we don't have a, uh, a transformer that does 120. All we have are the 240s, because that's what we have out here on property. So we just did uh, 120 into the 208 in common. I'm just gonna plug it in and I'll show you how it works. Yeah, so I just plug it in and we have power. Now since it's 120 going into the uh, 240 transformer, that's actually 208. You're not gonna get exact readings and stuff with your voltmeter, but it's still cool to play around with. Great for the new guys, man, they're just learning. So we'll set it on cool. Kinda chilly out today, so it's cold in the shop contactor just came in this is the condenser and this is the uh, air handler fan so that light bulb is the condenser air handler fan so we got action it works and uh, you know you can you new guy can mess around with the meter touching the contactor checking voltage and everything and you can run through some troubleshooting stuff like unhook a wire then have him figure it out when he comes in you can have some fun with this thing man it's like a doggone train set all right we'll shut it off so we got our reversing valve here I mean it's kind of like a heat pump we set up like a heat pump a little bit it's not exact match we don't have the defrost board and all the bells and whistles but close enough This is the heat strips. This light bulb is the heat strips. So when it shuts off, we'll, we'll go into heat mode. Got the sequencer. I've been probing around on this thing with my meter, trying stuff out. There we go. It's got a little bit of delay on it, just like it does out in the field, in the, on the units out in the field. Now we'll go to heat. There we go. Condensers on. fans on. Now since we have it set way up, the auxiliary heat's going to come on and that's going to kick on our heat strips. There we go. Now our heat strips are on. So condenser and heat strips are now working together. And you can get your meter and probe around on here. Do some experimenting. Now if you set the thermostat down to a degree above, it'll kick the heat strips off, but the condenser will stay on. Our light bulb over there, that's the condenser. There we go, no longer needs auxiliary heat, and the condenser is handling all the heating. All right, let's turn it off and play around with the old blower board here. All right, let's do some blower board scenarios slash troubleshooting slash just farting around. We'll set it down on cool. Condenser's on. Indoor fan motor is on. All right, let's say that the indoor fan isn't coming on. I know it's on here, but we're just going to do a hypothesis here. Indoor fan ain't coming on. First thing I would do, set my meter to the volts. Then I would touch one to common there on the transformer. See, I got one lead on the common. And then one lead on the G here. That's for the fan. You want to make sure it's calling for 24 volts. I'm not going to get 24 because we're running on 120 here. But I got 14. So I got voltage, that's good. Out in the field it would say 24 volts or you know a little higher sometimes, 26, 28. So we're good here. Next thing I would do is I would check this relay here. Alright, this over here is low voltage, 24 volts. 
this on the relay is high voltage. So here you're looking for 24. Over here is going to be high voltage, 240. All right, again, let's say that the indoor fan isn't coming on. I got one. I got my common lead on the transformer on the high voltage common at the top. Let's see if we got voltage coming in. Yes, we do. Oh, I actually got 124. We got voltage coming out. Yes, we do. 124. So this is this would be coming in normally open. And the switch should close inside of here, closing the uh, circuit. It should come out here common so we got 124 between both legs so we would know that that's good there's another way to do it too and I'll uh, let me unplug it turn it off so I don't get zapped yeah we're just having fun today skid we'll unplug these now out in the field if you're gonna do this it would be live so you're going to unplug it make sure you got these well out of the way and not touching anything are you going to sling some sparks so we'll unplug that and then i'll throw the power to it all right real quick before we get into this see that no right there stands for normally open meaning the circuits that the circuit here is normally open and this nc right here stands for normally closed we don't have this hooked up but it'll be coming off the sequencer and if the heat strips get stuck on the normally closed circuit will kick on the fan it's just a fail safe so you don't burn burn the place down and over here is com common stands for common so your fan will be hooked up here and here and then the normally closed off the sequencer will be back here all right, I've got my meter set to continuity. You'll hear the beep. So what we're gonna do is test for continuity in between here and here to know if it's good or not. So we're acting like that. We're acting like the indoor blower motor isn't coming on. So and we're testing this to see why. If it's the blower motor or is it this board here? I'm trying to get my dang meter or er leads in there so I can turn the thermostat on with one hand. Alright, we're going to turn the T-stat on and we should have continuity because we know that this is a good board but let's see. There we go. You hear the beeping? The switch just closed. So we know that this is good. Oop, let me see if I can turn it off with one hand. And you'll hear it. You hear the beeping stop. Once the switch disengages. There we go. It just disengaged. So we know our board is good. Now, if you got the power off, let's say somebody says, hey, my fan continuously runs it never shuts off even when the uh, unit is off the fan can continuously runs never stops what I would do is I would test I would turn the power off turn the breaker off and test between here and here with the power off and if it beeps that means this is stuck closed and you have to replace it it's bad yeah the easiest way I can explain HVAC to new guys is all it pretty much is is low voltage controlling high voltage. It first comes into the transformer as high voltage from the breaker as 240 or 120. This transformer steps it down into 24 volts. See there, 24 on the bottom. Steps it down to low voltage and comes out, comes into the board on this one, and then goes out down to the thermostat. That's all your low voltage and all these these little things like the sequencer and and that is pretty much just a glorified light switch. I mean just the low voltage turns it on. And then once it satisfies at the thermostat, it says, hey, let's shut it down, and then just shuts it off. 
All, all this stuff is, is is a light switch. Low voltage says, hey bud, let's party. Then it turns it on and then the high voltage up top connects. The little switch in, in here, it's like a little light switch, man. A glorified light switch. It says, hey bud, let's party. Boom. Connects the top and then rolls out and turns everything on. So that's how I can explain these uh, sequencers and things like that. Even the contactor, all it is is a glorified light switch. The low voltage on the sides here says, hey bud, let's party. This closes in, turns the condenser on. Then it satisfies that the thermostat shuts it off. Just turns it on, boom, and then bop. It connects the high voltage on the bottom and the top. I know it can be daunting and uh, intimidating, but man, I recommend a fun board. I mean, it's not an exact match of what we have out here in the field. There's no defrost board and all that stuff, but if you have straight cool, this will be perfect. I mean, even if you have heat pumps, it's perfect for new guys to mess around with. All right, condenser just came on. Here comes the fan motor. Boom. Fun little board. It's, my, it's like a little train set he built for us, and I love it. I just wanted to show it off to you guys. I'm not going to make a long, drawn-out video and bore you guys, but I had to show it. It's too cool, right? All right, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Wait.